Here we go, day number three. The finale is Woo! here, 10 weeks across the country. <laughs> and I'll tell you what, what a celebration this has been for the RV community. The time is now, if you have ever right thought now. about getting into an RV and joining the Camping World Gander <laughs> RV and Outdoor Family, this is it. The ultimate RV show national tour. Sean Parr with us, the Remingtons. Woo! The Jurgies ready to wrap things up. Woo! The reason I am wearing this is because the deals are going to be so unbelievably <laughs> competitive today. Because you look good in it. That's yeah, right. you did. I wasn't going to go there, but now that you did. Yeah. But no, we've got the first ever Ultimate RV Show National Tour Olympics happening today. Yeah. For the Buddy. finale here in Mesa, Arizona, guys, what a run this has been, huh? It's been absolutely incredible. I can't believe we went from east to west coast. We've traveled over 10,000 miles. We separated but reunited together. We're back. This I feel is a lot of love. The I got the journeys. Yeah, a lot of singing going on, a lot of yes. dancing. We went through a polar vortex together. We survived. Yeah, we did. Survived. That's mm -hmm. all we did, but mm -hmm. we did it. And we have matching Sherpies because of it. Yes, we, we've <laughs> learned a lot also, and we certainly hope you have too. And I want to say this because over 19 million people now have seen this unbelievable show in the last nine and a half weeks. I'm going to say this. I'm going to get emotional. It is now the final day. This Tell is the friends. finale. So this is where it gets good. At the end of the day, somebody wins a motor home, for goodness sake. Are you ready for that? Come on. We're ready. All right, if you want to get registered, text URVS to 46642. Let's get started with the Heartland Mallard, and Ian is taking us to it. Let's go. Oh, baby, day three. Here we go. And ladies and gentlemen, this one is an absolute knockout session. We're talking about RVs under 5,000 pounds, which, in case you didn't know, is one of the largest growing segments currently. Uh, you know, with everyone just wanting to kind of use their daily driver, right? Not everyone wants to upgrade into a truck. If you have one, great, but if you don't, sometimes people just want to take an SUV, and that's what this segment is all about. People with, you know, mid-size or smaller SUVs, you know, when you're looking at that 3,500-pound tow capacity, more importantly for this session, that 5,000-pound tow capacity, right? That's what this one is all about. Now, now this one probably will be pretty close to maxing it out. You know, we're looking at a uh, dry weight of uh, just under 4,600 pounds. So, so realistically, it may need something a little little bit bigger but either way this is a beautiful floor plan on what you have folks 22 and a half foot long on this one uh, this is the 2021 Heartland Mallard 210 RB the RB of course standing for rear bath now if you take a look at the kitchen one of the things I like about this one even though it's 22 and a half foot long a lot of times when you're in that length uh, what they'll do is they'll give you a, a two burner cooktop and a single sink to get more countertop space. But the way they've laid this out, they still allow you to have prep space right over here, which again, normally you're missing. Plus, you still have the uh, recessed cooktop with prep space and you get the sink top cover. So between all of this, you just have a ton of prep space all throughout this kitchen, which is great. Now, this obviously just folds up and back like so, opening up those three burners. That front one is high output. Oven underneath, if you want to do some baking. If not, you can take this rack out, use it for a little bit of storage perhaps. But, you know, I always like to at least have the option. You know, if I want to throw like a casserole or something in there, I have the option to do it. I'm not cooking a, a Thanksgiving turkey by any stretch, but, you know, maybe a, a couple cupcakes, you know? Eh, you can do it right in there. Some drawers in the kitchen, definitely a necessity. If you're going to have a functional kitchen in an RV, you have to have at least one drawer. I, I honestly prefer two, and that's exactly what you have here. So you have a spot for your flatware, plus some of your larger utensils or hand towels, things like that. Um, over to this side, we'll take a look underneath the sink. Look at that, folks. If you know me, you know that I'm going to love the fact you have space for a trash can because that's underneath my sink. That's exactly where I want my trash can to be at because that's, that's where it is at home. you know. And I don't know about you, about you folks watching, but for me, I'm a person of habit, right? So I'll be sitting here and I'll, I'll be cutting. I'll be like, trash can? Oh, wait, no, it's not it. Where? Where? Right? And I've done that in RVs before. But here it makes it simple. Plus, you don't have your bag hanging out, you know, stinking. And if it has a leak, leaking all over your floor, and you have a sticky floor, and you got to clean that, nobody wants that. Give me a spot to put it. They did. Heading up top. I, I love the cabinetry in the Mallard here, too. They changed this, uh, I want to say about a year, year and a half ago now. Um, and they went a lot lighter. They were one of the first uh, kind of manufacturers to go a little bit lighter. And, and I really love the fact they did. But you got some extra storage up there for plates, cups, bowls, whatever else. Microwave, hood over to the side, a spot to put your TV. 
I do recommend personally getting a swing arm mount. Why do I say that? Well, the reason being is the bed, which, you know, in this bed is a north to south bed, or in this RV's north to south bed, which I really like. Um, I prefer that over east to west. That way you can get out on either side of the bed. One person doesn't have to crawl over the other to get out. Uh, but if you have a swing arm mount, you're able to swing that around to the bed so you're able to watch TV in bed. You'll also see that it comes with the multimedia center here. Uses these guys to plug right into the back of the TV, uh, but that is a DVD player. You're not going to you know, play anything 4K or anything on there, but if you just have a standard old DVD, pop it in, you'll be uh, good to go. You can just, well, again, just watch a movie before bed. The sink itself, talk a little bit about that. High-rise pull-out faucet. I like having a pull-out. It makes it a lot easier to wash and rinse dishes. You will also see the sink top covers, which you know kind of make it a little more flush, but they're also cutting boards. So if you want to flip it over to use it as a cutting board, you can do so. I always recommend, I always tell people to use the bottom side, right? Or, or at least use the same side. Uh, in this case, it'll be the bottom because they, they, they kind of set in just like that. That's not always the case for them, but um, you'll always want to use the same side. That way the top stay looking nice. You don't have a bunch of cut marks in there. And taking a walk to the back, kind of rounding out the kitchen here. As soon as you walk in, I like when manufacturers do this too, right? They give you options. You have some versatility. Do you want to, to hang you know, jackets up? Do you want a little coat closet? You can have it. Do you want pantry? Great, the shelves are there. You can have it. You get the option based upon what you want. And I love that they at least, again, give you some kind of choice. You will also see a little bit of storage right down underneath there. And then you have the fridge. And this is something that's very unique to the Mallard line. That is the doodle station. And what this is, is the front of this isn't just black. It's actually a chalkboard. Uh, the reason I really like that, you know, for a couple different reasons, I guess. One, let's say you have the grandkids come visit. And, you know, it's a smaller RV. Again, 22 and a half feet. You do have a spot for them to sleep, which I'll show you in a little bit. But, you know, you're going to want stuff for them to do. And if they bring a bunch of kids' toys in here, it's quickly going to, you know, kind of overcrowd the space. But with this, it gives something that's super easy to do. You can just have a little bit of chalk. They can come up here. They can be doodling all day, you know, draw a little stick, pick, uh, a little stick people family on there, right? Something super cute cute or in the case of like my wife who's really artistic she can put something cool on here you know um like at ours you know at home i have like a little i don't know box right with a little bit chalkboard on it holds wine bottles and says it's wine o'clock you know why not right so you can do all sorts of stuff there i do like that um i should probably open it up at least show you the size so you know again plenty of plenty of storage space there for your cold storage you have some crisper drawers down below too that does run off both propane and electric by the way uh, before we go in the bathroom, I do want to touch on the door because I really like what they have done with the two-tone wood. Rather than just having, you know, a straight-up door like most manufacturers would, I like they went kind of that extra little step there. It really helps, uh, helps it stand out, and especially in a smaller RV, gives it a, a little bit of personality, I guess you could say. Making our way into the bathroom here, I'll take a seat on the toilet. Plenty of space here, folks, both for my legs as well as for my shoulders. Sink top over to the side. You know, enough room down under there for your toilet paper, black tank chemicals, whatever else you need. Mirrored medicine cabinet up top. Directly behind me is a linen closet. I like when manufacturers put these in as well, right? Got to have a spot for uh, all of your bath towels, whatever else you may need in here. And when I step in the shower, you can see here that at six foot tall, I have plenty of space. Even without the skylight, I can still uh, fully stand up. But with that skylight, folks, I mean, you know, I could be... Uh, you know, probably 6'2", maybe 6'3", you know? My man Chris Young can shower in there, no problem. He doesn't have to bend down either. Making our way over to the slide. Couple cool things here. One, you will see the back of the sl uh, slide fascia on the sides is lit. They have put LED lights in there. I kind of like that, right? I think it uh, makes it a little more elegant. And it's actually something they've done very well. For being a small RV, right, you don't want it to feel closed in. And they did a great job. You have a ton of windows all the way throughout here. The other thing they did is they put in a ton of lights. You know, we have the slide fascia's light lights. You have a light here. You have not one but two more lights underneath the cabinets. Most manufacturers would have just had a single light. They put three in this space. Look up above the bed. You have three lights just in that little session, section. You have two rows running the rest of the RV. I mean, you have a ton of lights in this thing, which really helps brighten it up. Another thing I love about the slide, take a look. They got rid of carpet. Instead, you have like the kind of like the nylon weave, right? Something they took out of the marine industry. Super easy to clean. You know, you don't have to worry about it getting gross and dirty, anything like that. And then sitting on top of that is your tri-fold sofa. So cool thing about this, you know, you got the slide out, helps open up this main living space, gives you a spot to sit down and watch TV. And the TV, folks, will be directly across from where I'm sitting right now, which is phenomenal. 
And as I mentioned, this does fold out into a bed. So, you know, if, if you want, if you have some grandkids that come visit or maybe just some friends that, you know, need to stay the night, no problem. You can sleep one adult here super comfortably, two as long as they're okay snuggling, you're good to go. I love that they did that. Up front is a king bed. Nice big bed, not going to be elbowing each other in the middle of the night. Wardrobe on both sides, storage across the top center there again, kind of an LED accent light. And if you drop down underneath, you'll see a couple different types of storage. One, it's going to be right there, right? Little foot locker. And then underneath that, you have a spot for your shoes, which I personally like because, you know, I, I don't know about you uh, folks watching, but for me, I like to take slippers when I go camping, walk around inside my RV, and so I can toss them right in there. Or flip-flops I take a lot of times too because, you know, sometimes I'll go outside and maybe I want to, uh, you know, go use the facilities because, my, you know, my wife is using the bathroom here or, you know, I, I just want to use the other facilities for showering, whatever it may be. Uh, having the flip-flops right there is just super convenient. It's out of the way, too. And if you notice, right by the entryway, I forgot to point this out, but there is, well, next to the fuse panel there, uh, but right next to that, you will see another little cubby hole, so that gives you another spot to put those shoes. Last thing I want to touch on before I head outside, folks, it does have a table right here. It just has foldable legs, but you can put that table right in front of the sofa, so if you want a place to sit down and eat, you have that available. Taking a walk outside. More ride, step above, step system. Folks, I'm over 200 pounds. I can jump up and down on these things. You will see they don't flex. Move slightly, but you know there, there is no flex to them, like kind of like your old steps where it almost gets that springboard effect. So I love the new steps. That's probably one of the biggest changes the RV industry had in uh, the last three or four years are, are the, the upgraded steps here. Let's talk a little bit about construction. One of the things I love about the Mallard is that they use Asdell composite panels instead of Luon. So on the back of this fiberglass, you have that Asdell, which is lighter weight. It won't absorb moisture, almost completely eliminate or uh, completely eliminating uh, delamination, and it's a green material, so you won't get the off gassing. And that lighter weight is a big part of why this is in that you know RV's under 5,000 section. You also see this right here, your baggage door. It is a magnetic catch, so it goes up just like that. It's also a slam latch, so it shuts down super simple, nice and heavy duty. And you get the King Kong size storage. Look at how big that opening is. If you have a grill, if you have a large chair, you're still able to fit it in there. You have power stabilizer jacks, and the controls are inside, so you have less chance you know, for any kind of uh, issues from the elements, right? Water and stuff like that. We take a look at the front. You can see that front three-quarter cap, absolutely beautiful. You kind of have that faux windshield in there, LED lights all over the place, powered tongue jack up front, making it nice and simple to hook up and disconnect from your tow vehicle, solar prep over to the side. So if you want solar, you can buy the portable panels and plug it in, and you have a fully enclosed heated and insulated underbelly. So it lets you camp a little bit later into the fall, a little bit earlier into the spring, plus a full two inch thick laminated sidewall, folks. So again, if you're looking to kind of, you know, uh, have that extended season, be able to camp a little bit longer, the Mallard is one that will let you do it. Now remember folks, this is just one of several different RVs. We have over uh, are under 5,000 pounds. We're going to cover a few today, but just know that we have more inventory than anyone else in the US, folks. We have over 80,000 pieces that are coming factory fresh to a lot near you. All you need to do to take advantage of that is text the word fresh to 46642 or drop that word fresh in the comment section below. That way we can get you in touch with the specialist and get you the perfect RV. Demand for RVs is at historic levels, which is why we are working around the clock to bring you over 80,000 factory fresh RVs. That's the largest selection of RVs in the world. Fresh from the factory to our stores, to your driveway or campsite. RVs are made by Americans for Americans. And now you can see America for less. Shop over 80,000 factory fresh RVs starting at just $5 a day. Click, call, or visit your local Camping World or Gander RV and Outdoors today. Hey, it's Tiffany and Caleb from us, the Remingtons, and we're so sad right now because Oso isn't joining us on our segment today. Honey, where is he? He is at the Paw Pee Spa. <laughs> we figured we had to give him a little bit of a break from us and also Clearly, traveling. he's shaggy, and he's supposed <laughs> to be a white dog, and they did some good color correction on this photo, but he's, he's actually <laughs> yellow. 
from we, playing in the mud and the dirt and the lake. We did not. Normally, we give him probably a cut every, I don't know, three or four weeks. But for the f- past two and a half months, we, in negative 30 degree weather, we said we had to keep his shag coat on. Yeah. So. He, he's got to build up in, to survive that, that winter vortex we went through. But no, Oso is an amazing travel dog. Uh, we got him at a little as a little puppy, and I think it was like six weeks after we got him, he was already on a plane traveling. He was yeah. in the car all the time, going from place to place. So he got really comfortable with the uh, RV Tra- lifestyle and traveling, traveling lifestyle. Traveling aspect. And, and if you have a pet and maybe they're not used to traveling so much and maybe this is your first time getting an RV, one of the tips that we suggest is um, putting the putting your, your pet in the rig for, I don't know, I would say two to three times a week for about 20 to 30 minutes. See where they like to be comfortable. Is it on a chair? Is it on the couch? Is it right next to you? Is it on your lap? Oso is... He's a fan of seeing yeah. out a window, yes. but he does love his bed. And clearly at Camping World, they don't discriminate against big dogs, little dogs, fat dogs, short dogs. <laughs> they have all kinds of beds that'll make your fluffy, furry animal super comfortable on those long adventures. Because yeah. we go, we went 26 hours and also slept most of the way. Like we tired them out. Real good before we oh, hit yeah, that that's, road. That's a huge thing. Yeah. Tiring them out before a long trip. I think that's whether if it's a long hike, playing with toys for like hours and hours on totally. end. Yeah, going um, to the which doggy speaking parks. Of, no also, shortage of toys. Also had plenty of um, cameos this whole time. <laughs> and Camping World was very generous and paid him in um, all the different kind of squeaky toys. That's right. And these are some of his favorites right here. Oh, yeah. He got this little pig that makes a little <laughs> oink noise, and it's amazing. And, and you don't get annoyed by the oink, right? It's like no. some of these squeaky it's toys, good. it's like, all right. Give me that toy back. I feel like some of these toys are like exclusive to Camping World. I won't say that, but I feel like we find the best ones there. Talk about this, babe. Okay, so this is something that we have. We have a few of them, actually. Different colors. Hey, hey. Um, But we love it because it's a non-slip pad, and it also catches any waters or food that kind of goes over. Really convenient. Love it so much. Do love it a lot. You should talk about that because we use use this. The bowl. Well, the bowl, but also these. Did you know this? So no. this is the tether. So Oso likes to be outside a lot of the times. He it's loves true. to sunbathe. Uh-huh. So this rope paired with this, you, ooh, you stick this in the ground, ah. and then he's able to run around freely but also still be leashed. So I that's love huge. It. Do you know what I also love? What do you love? Is the ramps that Camping World has. So ooh. some of these rigs are tall. They're you, you can't really get into That's it. So if you've got a senior doggy or if you got a dog with short legs like we do, <laughs> these ramps come in handy when you're trying to get into that mobile home, RV, whatever it may be, or yep. just into the bed. So clearly there is so much that Camping World and Gander RV has to offer um, for your pets and your, and your little ones. But anyway, we're going to throw it back to Ian. We have another Keystone. Let's take it away. Ladies and gentlemen, here we are. If you're looking for something where, again, you want a little bit lighter weight, but you don't want to have to deal with a slide. Maybe you just want to be able to pull in, you know, drop, be good to go. Then this right here is a perfect option for you. This is a 2021 Keystone Passport 239ML. Now this one is the West Coast edition, but whether it's East Coast or West Coast, you'll see that there's very few things that will change from one to the other. Uh, The thing I really, really enjoy uh, about this particular floor plan is the fact that One, they do something with the bunks, we'll see in a little bit, where it's very versatile and gives you a lot of storage uh, in the form of a back door, right? So you get a ton of storage. Also, the fact that this has a Murphy bed. Now, for a lot of people, that's a make it or break it, right? Some people just adamantly hate Murphy beds. Uh, Some people are like, yes, give it to me. And I'll kind of go over the pros and cons in just a moment. But Overall, I think they did a great job on a, a floor plan that is you know, under 25 and a half foot and again, under 4,500 pounds dry. And so let's take a look right over here on the camp side. So again, one of the things that I really like that manufacturers do if they're able to pull it off is a campsite dinette. And the reason being, when, when I'm sitting here having my morning cup of coffee, you know, eating, eating my breakfast, eating my eggs, my pancakes, my toast, whatever it may be, 
oh gosh, avocado. I don't know about you guys, but I love avocado toast. I know it's like a super millennial thing of me to say, but I really do enjoy some avocado toast. Anyway, uh, but as I'm sitting there eating my breakfast, right out the window is my campsite. So, you know, I'm in a bunk model, right? Chances are my kiddos, you know, maybe they're playing outside. Maybe they're, you know, if we have a little bit of uh, pavement there, they're out there with some sidewalk chalk. Maybe they're just out there playing around, but I want to be able to see what they're doing while I'm hanging out right in here, having my morning cup of coffee, you know, relaxing a little bit before we start the day. And this campsite dinette gives me the ability to do it. Plus, it's always a big window and that lets in a ton of natural light, which is always a great thing. And you know, we kind of talked about it in the uh, the last RV we were in, in the Mallard, that you know, I, I like to have a lot of windows. We're in a, in a smaller RV and I like to have a lot of light. So during the day, during the night, it's always bright and you don't feel closed in, especially when you have a little bit darker wood like Passport's using. Now, it's definitely not dark, dark, right? But it's still a little more brown than what a lot of manufacturers are using today. So you have to make sure you light it up in other ways and they did do a good job. If we take a look right up top, you will notice the multimedia center. You will also see the HDMI port there too. So cool thing about that is that is hooked up to the TV way over here. So if you want to, you know, put like some auxiliary equipment here, like Blu-ray player or something like that, you can. It is of course Bluetooth capable as well for playing music. You have speakers in here, speakers outside. Those will both be controlled by that unit. Moving over a little bit further, some more storage, frosted glass over wood. Um, I think that was a good choice as well. Just kind of helps break up that wood look, especially, you know, when you use brown. Having that white frosted glass, right, kind of gives that uh, differentiation that you're looking for. TV over to the side. This is on a, on a swing arm mount, so that way you can swing it around based upon, you know, if you're sitting on the sofa or if you're sitting right here in the dinette, uh, you can kind of, you know, see that from either direction. Let's make our way to the back because this is something that, you know, especially for this floor plan really kind of sets this one apart and I love this. You have double over double bunks back here, uh, 300 pound weight capacity. So the great thing about double bunks is if you have older kids, they're still able to fit in here. If you have younger kids, you want to put two kids to a bunk, you can do that too. But this right here is where it's at. Look at all of that storage space. The bed folds up, you get a ton of storage right here. So, you know, if you have some bigger grills, chairs, uh, uh, pool noodles, skis, whatever it might be, right? You have space, you can fit that in here. I mean, you have longer items, you can ride along this wall all the way up. I mean, it can go all the way up to the bed. You know, if you wanna, if you have something that's 14 foot long, not a kayak, mind you, because it's gonna be too big, but you know, something thin, you can still, you're still able to fit that in there, which is pretty incredible. Uh, and then, you know, it's nice and easy too to drop this back down again, so you have that bunk space, but you still have all that storage under there. So if you want like duffel bags or uh, laundry baskets, you're able to slide those under there, still utilize that storage space. So I, I do like what they have done here. Another big uh, kind of key selling point for me so if you take a look right in the back, you will notice this has electrical outlets and USB ports. And the reason I like that is because on a rainy day in a smaller RV, folks, you're going to appreciate that as well when the kids are on phones, tablets, or some kind of electronics. I know we go camping to get away from a lot of those things, but on a rainy day in a small RV, that right there will save you from pulling your hair out, right? You know, they kind of have their own space. Let them relax for a little bit, do their thing. And then, you know, you can move on to some other activities. Obviously we have a table here. So things like, you know, playing board games, puzzles. Uh, those are things that I always like to do with my family. You know, we'll get a pad of paper, we'll draw, we'll play Pictionary. Um, you know, play hangman, kind of work on, uh, you know, some spelling, things like that. So, you know, there's definitely other things you can do, but I, I do like at least having the fallback plan, the plan B, if you will. Making our way into the bathroom, take a seat on the toilet. I always like to do this just to kind of show space. And as you can see, I have plenty of room for my legs, great space for my shoulders here too. And one of the things that I really appreciate is even though this is a lightweight RV, they still give you a porcelain bowl, and that is pretty rare. A lot of times, you know, they'll go with a plastic bowl to save a little bit of money, save a little bit of weight, but it's always one of the things that, that I hate that manufacturers change out because I want a porcelain bowl because it, it's gonna look nicer for longer, it's easier to clean. So uh, Passport went ahead and put that in for you. As for shower height, you can see here, folks, at six foot tall, I'm pretty much maxing it out. If you're any taller than that, you will have to bend down a little bit. So just bear that in mind as you know, you're know you RV shopping and, and maybe that works for you, maybe it doesn't. But the great thing about it, and as we've talked you know, kind of through, through this uh, whole 10 weeks we've been on the road show, folks, is that we have a ton of inventory. I mean, you know, everyone's struggling for inventory with Camping World. We still have over 20,000 pieces on the lot. We have over 80,000 coming in. We have, 
new RVs coming into dealerships every single day. And I promise you that I have a similar layout to this one and possibly a different manufacturer that you'll get a little more head height in that shower if that's something you're after. All you have to do to take advantage of that is text that word FRESH to 46642 or drop FRESH in the comments section below. This is another big thing that Passport does that, you know, maybe maybe this one will uh, kind of, or maybe this will sell you on this particular unit, sell you on the Passport, is the fact you get versatile storage. You have a hanging rod going across the top. If you want to hang clothes up here, you also have adjustable shelving all the way throughout, right? Not just removable, but adjustable. So you can adjust that pantry, adjust that space to what works for you. Opening up the fridge freezer, you'll see there's plenty of space in here. This unit does run off both propane and electric, also has automatic switchover. And making my way down a little bit further, microwave up top there, hood. Again, more storage here. We get that frosted glass dropping down a little bit. Window. Uh, you have upgraded countertops, which I love uh, for a couple different reasons. One, uh, you don't have to deal with T mold popping off on the front or around the corners. Two, it's less chance for any kind of water penetration. And it allows you to undermount the sink, which I always love when you can undermount the sink. Nice big stainless steel sink there. This sink top cover is also a cutting board. So if you flip it over, you can use the bottom as a cutting board chop away you'll be good to go not only do you have the high-rise faucet this is a pull-out faucet as well folks so it does make washing and rinsing dishes a little bit easier and then right here in the center what you'll notice is you have all this extra space and right up top is your electrical outlet so if you're looking for a place to put a coffee maker that is the perfect spot for it recessed cooktop with three burners there obviously that cover gives you the prep space you have storage underneath as well as over to the side open this up for you just to show you a couple things one I want to show you there's not a style in in either of these so if you have some bigger pots and pans you're able to fit them in there the other thing i want to show is this right here the fact that you do have two drawers in the kitchen so you know when you're looking through this don't think you don't have drawers because there certainly are some you get this little countertop extension over to the side i'm not sure how much i would use this it is pretty small but if you need a spot just to put I don't know, spices or maybe one plate or something. I guess you have that, uh, maybe a spatula, set it down over there, I'm not sure. But then as we take a look up front, right, this is when we get into the Murphy bed. And as I said, a lot of times for a lot of people, this is the make it or break it. I personally really like it, why? Because in a small floor plan, I get an added sofa. I get another place to sit. And especially when we're talking about a bunkhouse, I want more than the dinette. You know, I want other seating and that's what this provides. And you certainly don't lose any storage. You still have great storage underneath that jackknife. This folds down nice and easy. When I talk about um, Murphy beds, right? You're gonna get one of two things. I have yet to see one in an RV where you get both. You get, you know, form or, or uh, you know, form or function, right? You get style or you get something that works well and it's easy. As you'll see right here, this may not be the prettiest one in the world because you have the mattress hanging up top, but you wanna talk about easy, you don't get much easier than that. I mean, you fold down the jackknife, you pull two pins, you drop it down, your bed's good to go, you know? So I personally would rather have something that's easy to set up and tear down than something that looks pretty, but everyone's different. And there are, like I said, different Murphy beds for different manufacturers. It's something we can certainly help you out with. Uh, if, if you're interested and you want some help, again, folks, text that word FRESH to 46642. A specialist will get in touch with you and we'll help you out with the Murphy bed section. Uh, on each side, you have nightstands, electrical outlets, USB ports. Right above that, of course, are your mirrored wardrobes. Open that up for you so you can take a look. Bedspread, it does come with a bedspread, by the way. And over to the side, if you want TV, there is TV hookup right there. Last thing I want to touch on before I head outside, folks, is the fact that this one also has ducted AC with quick dump. So you can open that up, have all that cool air dump right in here, and it utilizes the blade system, which uh, in conjunction with those vents, as well as the ducting in the ceiling, it's like 30% quieter than your standard AC system, and it's more powerful uh, for more even and better cooling, which is always a great thing, especially when you're in the hot Arizona sun like we are today. Making our way up front, power tongue jack. This obviously makes it nice and easy to hook up and disconnect from your tow vehicle. You don't have to sit there and wear out your arm, cranking her up and down. Spot beer batteries right behind that. You can see the fiberglass front uh, on this one because this is a fully fiberglass unit, folks. If you come around to the side, you will see that this one is fully laminated, right? All the way down. So looks great, easy to clean. As far as our pass-through, this one has a slam latch. It's also a magnetic catch. Take a look inside there. 
you can see how big that door is. Now, because the Murphy bed, it does come down a little bit. You lose a tiny bit of height, but you still have excellent space uh, in there for some of your bigger items. You'll also notice you have power stabilizer jacks, and those will be uh, right in there, so less chance for the elements to get to them. And you have a motion sensor light, so as soon as you open that door, the light will turn on. I forgot to mention, we were inside. If you take a look right in here, this first light is also motion sensor. Why do I love that? Because I can turn all the lights off in the coach, put that one on a motion sensor setting. I can go hang out with my friends at another campsite when I come home or back to my RV, open up the door, walk in, the light turns on, right? So uh, another great feature. Power awning, LED lights on here, a couple outside speakers. Outside, what is, what is this? Is this, is this a suit? This is interesting. All right. Put it right here like a little parrot. Here we go, guys. So we have an outside kitchen, right? You need to do some cooking. Maybe grab a beer. Is it okay if I have a beer? No, not right now? All right, later. So we make our way around to the back. What do we see right back here, guys? I'm sorry, am I yelling in your ear? I'm sorry, I'm loud. Right back here is a door. That's where your storage goes, right there, folks. Again, this is a 2021 Keystone Passport 239ML. This is a fantastic RV. If this is the one for you, text the word RV to 46642. Yes, I'll get it for you. Just wait. <laughs> Heartland has RVs to help everyone launch their life's journeys. All new designs and floor plans provide choices for every type of camper. Whether you're a solo RVer, a family, a retiree, or something in between, come find your perfect model. Because buying a Heartland should feel like you're joining our family. So let's hit the road and enjoy life's great adventures together. With the Camping World Best Price Guarantee, we'll beat any competitor price by $500 guaranteed or write you a check for $1,000. I will never lose a deal over price, ever, and I guarantee it. Learn more today at CampingWorld.com. Hey there, it's Tiffany and Caleb again. Did you miss us? Did you? I don't we're know. back. We're back, we're back, and we're... Back with what, babe? Another ultimate giveaway. Yes! This is literally my favorite. But before we do, we're giving away a motorhome. I know. This is crazy. You I still can't believe it, but it's true. It's, we are. It's going to come true. And it's happening today. Here shortly. You guys, if you have not registered yet, you are VS to 46642 or comment below. That's all you have to do. That's all you got to do. To be registered Quick, and eligible. get your name in the pot. It's happening. But right now... We are giving away a 49cc scooter. This is a Coleman Scoots? Scoot. A Scoot Scoot. That's you what you want to know like who to won? Who won, babe? Tell me, tell me, tell me. Paul Morris won. Pa Paul Morris! Paul Morris! Hey, Paul. Your best friend's... You're Paul. best friends with the Paul. I, I know it. That's a good name. Good Paul, name. congratulations. You Those things know are what? so fun. Paul registered because he... Texted URVS to four six six four two. You guys, you have to do it. Do you remember when we got on the scooter? I, oh yes, back in, in Portland. <laughs> it fits two people, Paul. So you and your significant other could jump yeah. on that thing, head down, get yourself some food at the local shop. It's actually really nice to have a scooter um, on the campground because, well, with our motorhome, a we can easily tow it in the back. B it is just so nice to be able to conveniently go to it's a true. grocery store or something. Too convenient, around. too awesome. Speaking of awesome, Ian is coming up with another Forest River. You got to check this one out. All right, folks, what we have right now is probably the first one of the three that we've seen so far. This one, of course, being the third one that you can actually tow if you have a vehicle that is able to tow 5,000 pounds, right? Uh, all these RVs have been under 5,000, but if you're like, okay, I have a tow rating of 5,000 pounds, what can I tow? This right here is a great option. This is the 2021 Forest River Salem Select 177 FQ. And as you'll see, of course, you don't have any slides, which if you're towing, you know, if you have a 5,000 pound tow capacity, you're gonna be hard pressed to find uh, anything with a slide or maybe, maybe a small slide, right? Uh, we, we have the, the new Rubicon that just came out with a small slide and that one you can make happen. But um, otherwise, right, something like this is kind of what you're looking at. This one dry is a little over 3,300 pounds. You have about 1,500 pounds of carrying capacity, which is quite a bit for, uh, for a travel trailer this size. But again, that still puts you under 5,000, even if you fully load it up till the axles are gonna snap. So that way you can haul this bad boy down the road. Uh, as far as tank sizes, if you're looking to do any boondocking, this one has a 48 gallon fresh tank, 22 gray and 22 black. The most impressive part of this one though, 
is the price, folks. This one is starting under $20,000. That's under five bucks a day. You wanna talk about something that's affordable, something that can get you out there, start RVing, just the two of you getting to go out and explore, see this beautiful country of ours, this one right here is the one to do it. One of the things we're gonna start off with is the Campside Dinette. If you've seen my videos, you know what I'm gonna say. If you've been watching, if you've been watching you know, the all 10 weeks, you know what I'm gonna say right here. Why do I love this? This window. Because this is where I'm gonna be. This is where I'm going to be you know, eating my breakfast. I, wanna, I just wanna look out at my campsite. Uh, if for no other reason, then if I don't know my neighbors to the other side and I'm eating a meal and I look out and they look in the window, we have that awkward transition of why are you looking at me? And I'm like, I don't know because I have nothing else to look at and I don't wanna go through that. So here, I'm looking out to my campsite, which is what I want, again, what I wanna see. You'll notice now this dinette isn't as big as some others, right? This is built for two people. Uh, definitely, you know, if, if you're looking to, to have, you know, four people in this dinette, you're going to be pretty squished. But for just the two of you, which is what this is built for, this is perfect. Electrical outlet right over here as well. So if you're, if you're someone who has the luxury of being able to work on the road, especially, you know, in the day and age we're in, we're finding more and more people uh, are, are, you know, being able to work remotely. You know, it's if, one of the, the great things to, to come from this terrible time we've had is the fact that uh, more companies are like, oh, we, we can do this remotely. And something like this, if you have a laptop, you have a tablet, you plug it in, you essentially have your little mobile workstation right here, right? You're good to go. Um, so I do like having that there. And if for nothing else, you know, maybe again, you just want a place to charge your cell phone or tablet, you're good. This does drop down into a bed, folks, but again, it's certainly not going to be a large bed. Um, you know, they, they say that this one sleeps three. If you're an adult and you're sleeping here, it will be fairly tight. Uh, you can probably make it manage, you know, you can manage, you just don't roll too much, you'll end up on the floor. But if it's like a grandchild or something that, you know, you want to take camping with you, this does make an excellent bed. Another thing, right, a little tip, if you will, something that I've done personally uh, numerous times, is if you have a young child, you know, someone who's not going to be in a bunk, they still sleep in a crib, you know, they're not crawling up and out of the crib yet, a dinette is a perfect spot to put a pack and play, you know, where they can sleep for the night or, you know, sleep uh, during the day to take naps. Because what you do is when you drop this down, you just remove all the cushions and you'll have the wood base right here, right? And that's going to be flush with this table all the way across. So it gives you a nice solid base to put that pack and play on and it's up out of the way. So you still have a full walkthrough. So it's not, you know, blocking off half of the camper. Now, again, if they're, if they're crawling, if they're getting out of that pack and play, please don't put them up anywhere high. Uh, for everyone's safety, obviously, we, we don't want that to happen. But uh, just one of those, you know, kind of, I, I guess, pro tips, right, from someone who does a fair amount of RVing. I certainly, uh, I have used the, the dinette as a spot for the pack and play numerous times. Taking a look up top, right over here, you will see the spot to put a TV if you want a TV in here. If you do, I suggest getting a swing arm mount rather than a flat arm. Uh, so that way, A, you can turn it towards the bed if you're in bed, and B, if you're in the dinette, you can actually swing it around and still be able to watch it in the dinette. Otherwise, if you do a flat, you can really only watch it in bed, and it might be a slightly weird angle. So uh, definitely get that, that swing arm mount there. Right up top, good storage. We'll open that up so you can take a, take a peek in there. You'll also see the multimedia center over here to this side. Now that is, uh, they do have cable uh, wiring running through, and I'll show you in just a second. But you have an HDMI and USB port, but if you take a look up here, you will see that you have the connections right there so that you know if you have the audio and video cables, you can plug them into the back of the TV and that will kind of run from here. Now again, folks, you're not gonna get anything 4K, but it is going to be better than nothing at all. This also is Bluetooth capable. You'll see the speakers right in here. So if you wanna jam out, you know, connect your iPhone to it, you can do that uh, quite easily. AC unit will be located right here in the center, 13.5 K BTU. And in a unit this size, I mean, you know, we're under 23 foot. Folks, I'm telling you that will cool this off in a hurry. That is certainly all you need uh, to stay nice and cool right inside this Salem. In the very back, if you take a look, I love this, right? You have a hanging rod. So as soon as you walk in, you want a place to hang up, you know, sweatshirts, jackets, or if you just want more clothes storage, because as we take a look up front, you'll see you don't have much wardrobe. So chances are this will probably become your primary wardrobe. Uh, but I do like where it's at because it is close to the bathroom, which, you know, in an open floor plan like this, if you want a little bit of privacy, if you want to change, it's probably where you're going to be changing at. You also have a little cubby hole here. Now, again, you can use this for clothes if you want. I personally, and maybe I'm a little weird for this, I'd probably put like a little mat in there a little rug and that's where i'm going to put my shoes because i don't want my shoes clogging up my doorway right i want them out of the way and in a smaller rv like this all the storage space you have is is uh, at a premium and so i kind of want it right by the door and you know i don't want to take up space in my kitchen for example so again that's where i'll be putting my shoes back in the bathroom here 
You know, when I close the door, it is a little tight on my right knee. You know, you can see the door will be right here. So I kind of have to, you know, kick it over to the side a little. So definitely not a place I'm going to sit and, uh, you know, read a novel or anything like that. But, you know, if you're just sitting here getting your business done, you can make it work. Over to the side is a tub shower. So if the grandkids do come, you can give them a, a bath, which is nice. Uh, but the main thing I like about a tub, right, if you in a non-bunk model, is the fact that it's a higher threshold. And when you have a curtain, as you can see, the water is actually going to go down in the tub. Sometimes if you just have a shower base, you know, the curtain comes like right down to the shower base and there may even be like a small little gap. Well, then water gets all over the floor. Not a huge fan of it. So even though it is a little bit of a step up, I would, I would rather have the tub in this situation when you have a curtain. As far as height, folks, I'm six foot tall. I could honestly probably be six two and still shower in here thanks to that skylight without having to duck down. And you have a towel bar all the way across the back. So you have a convenient spot to grab that towel. Let's come on back out, take a look at the kitchen. Fridge freezer combo, opening that guy up, can take a space, pretty standard stuff here, right? Uh, but you know, good size, you know, definitely not, uh, not too small, not too big, but it, it works. It runs off both propane and electric, which can definitely be nice if you're doing a, you know, a little bit of boondocking where you don't have shore power, don't have that full hookup, you can run that off propane. Microwave up top here, more storage over to this side. Right, again, we talk about good storage in the uh, in our kitchen space. We wanna make sure we utilize that where we can. So you have that up top. Down below, this is really cool. They actually give you a three burner cooktop and a dual basin sink, right? Something that, uh, or sorry, a, a double large sink, not dual basin, but the same size as dual basin, right? It is a, it is a single bowl but it's not like a half size sink, like oftentimes you get in smaller RVs. So, you know, you do get the, the full uh, sink as well as the full cooktop, and you have the prep space right up top over here, which is wonderful. Electrical outlet over to this side. Need a spot to put a coffee maker? There it is. Margaritaville machine? There it is. You got a toaster? There it is. Underneath, you have a single drawer. I always say you have to have at least one drawer to make a functional kitchen because you have to have a spot for your flatware. Clearly, they agreed with me because they already put the dividers in there for you. Underneath that is a direct vent furnace. Again, folks, in an RV this size, that right there will do more than enough to keep it uh, toasty in here. And then storage underneath for all of your pots and pans. So we take a look up front. They did do a north to south bed, which I like, right? Rather than east to west, because that way you can get out on either side. You don't have to crawl over each other. You will see the nightstands on both sides with electrical outlets on both, USB ports on one side. So you have a spot to charge your cell phone, plug in your CPAP, whatever else you need to plug in. You know, maybe you need to charge some things. Who knows, who knows what you got up there, but you can charge it. You'll also see kind of the ship lap going across the front and the uh, the shelf. So if you have any, you know, de decor you want to put up there, maybe just some extra clothes, right, that you're not putting back in the wardrobe, that you're not hanging up, uh, that gives you a spot to put it. Now, that kind of wraps it up for the inside, but what about the outside, right? Let's talk a little bit about the outside on this lightweight Salem Cruise Lights. Head on right up front here. So we take a look at the front. One of the things I really, I really like that they do is they give you the smooth aluminum front rather than having the rolled aluminum because this is a lot easier to clean and chances are that's where all your bugs and everything are gonna get smashed and we wanna be able to wash that, right? You know, we, we, wanna, we want it to look nice at the campground. We don't wanna look like slobs. Let's keep it nice and clean and that gives you the ability to do it. Coming around to the side, you'll see here, it's magnetic catch, so you can put it up just like that. The thing I like about this, especially if you have the grandkids that come, they go to shut this. There's not a plastic tab or anything that's going to break off. And same thing for me. I mean, sometimes I forget, you know, so I like having the magnet. Taking a look inside, you can see that that is a very big pass-through. Wow, that's heavenly, isn't it? It's angelic. Look at that. And the power suit, just the light coming down. Oh, oh, oh. Love it. But you can fit all sorts of stuff in there. She fits in there. I wouldn't put people in there, but she got in there somehow. I don't know who's doing this. Down underneath, you have propane quick connect. If you want to hook up a grill, something like that, boom, there it is. I love this. You're going to be, uh, you know, cooking some stuff up, grilling. There it is. Got some steaks, some burgers, some brats, whatever it may be. This makes it very convenient. And you can listen to some music while you're sitting out here, right? You want to jam out? That's controlled by that multimedia center inside. And again, that is Bluetooth capable. You also have TV hookup if you want to watch TV out here. And as you would expect, that is underneath that power awning with an LED light strip. So you just push a button that sucker rolls out same thing to put it right back in and again that covers all of this you know if you want it can cover your grill so if you know you're cooking out here and you don't want to be in the sun you're good to go you're watching tv you're underneath that power awning all of that is great 
you know, nice easy entrance to get in. And as we come around the back, just want to show you here, you do get the square tubular bumper, which gives you a spot to put your, uh, your sewer hose. And more importantly, it also gives you a spot in which your spare tire can rest. So it's very easy to access if you have to and up top there. This one also has backup camera prep if you want a backup camera. Not a huge RV, right? Again, under 23 foot, but if you want one, you have the option to do it. Folks, if you like this one, if you're into the Salem 177 FQ and you're like, yes, Ian, under 20 grand, that's right in my budget, you know, $4.94 a day, I can make that happen then what you'll want to do is text the word RV to 46642. That will lock in the show pricing on this one. And I'm telling you folks, we have a ton of these all throughout the U.S. You're going to want to get your hands on it because as you know, you know, RVs are becoming extremely popular for good reason because people are figuring out that this right here is one of the absolute safest way to see this beautiful country of ours.